It's unbelievable to me, really, that we went from forever to forward to for sale in six months. NASCAR fans, buckle up as we bring you a story that marks the end of an era in the NASCAR Cup Series. Stuart Haas Racing, a name synonymous with speed, power, and unforgettable moments on the track, announced its closure at the end of the 2024 season, breaking hearts and shattering dreams. The news of Stuart Haas Racing's demise in 2025 hit the community like a thunderbolt. But what led to this unexpected decision? Was NASCAR behind the decision to shut down, or was it losses and underperformance? Let's dive into the details and uncover the reasons behind this monumental decision. Tony Stewart and Gene Haas, the masterminds behind Stewart Haas Racing, have officially announced their plans to sell their four NASCAR Cup Series charters and shut down their legendary four-car team. This team has brought us unforgettable championships with Stewart in 2011 and Kevin Harvick in 2014. While they have made the difficult decision to close Stewart Haas Racing at the conclusion of the 2024 season, it was a decision that did not come easily, nor was it made quickly as per their statement. This announcement follows the retirement of key drivers Kevin Harvick and Arik Almarola, along with the loss of major sponsors like Anheuser-Busch, Smithfield, and Hunt Brothers Pizza. Despite adding new talents like Noah Gragson and Josh Berry this season, the team's struggles persisted. Gragson, backed by Base Pro Shops, and Berry, supported by Overstock.com, were the fresh faces brought in to steer the ship. But even with significant sponsorship, the team couldn't regain its former glory. But why the closure? While a number of reasons and factors contributed to the decision, Denny Hamlin recently pointed to one factor, which in his opinion contributed to Tony Stewart deciding to pull the plug on Stewart Haas Racing. Don't miss out on more thrilling NASCAR stories. Hit that subscribe button and join our racing community today. During the latest episode of the Actions Detrimental podcast, Hamlin was asked by his co-host whether the ship of SHR was sinking for a while or if it was a sudden decision. Hamlin claimed that a decision of this magnitude is not taken all of a sudden. He believes that the reasons were built over time. This did not happen just right here in 2024. You can debate how it happened over time. Regardless, it's still NASCAR's media dollars covered what it cost to run a car. They would not be shutting down. Unfortunately, we're still under a sponsorship model that forces us to go get millions and millions of dollars in sponsorship just to break even is it forces teams like SHR to have a tough decision when it comes down to it and they don't have the sponsorship. I think that they just, they're, they're tired of dealing the higher ups and, and I think they're just, they're done with it. Who knows when we'll see Tony again. While Hamlin highlighted a point from a team owner's perspective, former SHR driver Kevin Harvick reacted to the news of the shutdown in disbelief. You know, I think it's just, um, it's unbelievable to me really that we went from forever to forward to for sale in six months. I don't even know how you could possibly imagine sitting here today and thinking six months later that, that Stuart Haas Racing is gonna announce that they're basically folding. Uh, in, in 2014, it was a brand new team. We had a lot of enthusiasm from the ownership group to, to build this team up into what turned into being a championship winning team, won a lot of races. But I had a great group of people. And I think the people around that four car uh, over the last 10 years are really what held that company together. Stuart Haas Racing hasn't won a Cup Series race since Harvick's victory at Richmond in 2022. Last year, only Harvick made the playoffs, a stark contrast to 2020 when all four cars qualified, and the closer highlighted the operations within the team. The last 10 years are really what held that company together. I think that company was held together by the success of, of the four car. Backbone of, of all that kind of went away, I think, uh, poking some holes in just the, you know, what happens at the at the top side of, of the upper management and, and everything that goes with running a race team. And it's a full-time job. It's a 24 seven job and I'm not, it's not a knock on, on owners. Gene and Tony were, were great to me, but they're kind of hands off owners and have people in place to, to, to do their job. And in today's day and age, you have to have people that are involved with the authority. Despite showing some improvement, they were no longer a primary team for Ford, and their playoff performance had dwindled. Moreover, Ford's decision to not continue their OEM relationship with SHR marked the beginning of the end. Despite SHR's struggles, Ford found success with other teams like Team Penske, leaving SHR in a precarious position. In a recent episode of the Door Bumper Clear podcast, spotter Brett Griffin went down memory lane to talk about SHR's beginnings to find the root cause of the issues. He shed some light on SHR's equation with car brands. 
What are your thoughts? Which of these reasons contributed to the decision? So, where do Stuart Haas Racing's charters go from here? The rumor mill is buzzing with names like Trackhouse Racing, Front Row Motorsports, and 2311 Racing, all looking to expand their full-time entries in 2025. The going rate for these charters, a hefty 20 to 30 million dollars each. Front Row Motorsports has stepped up already, agreeing to pay between 20 to 25 million dollars for a charter from SHR. This price drop from last year's record fee of nearly $40 million is a reflection of the current market dynamics and the influx of available charters. Trackhouse Racing, with stars like Ross Chastain and Daniel Suarez, alongside newcomers Zane Smith and Shane Van Gisbergen, could be prime contenders, and 2311 Racing, looking to either pick up a free agent driver or elevate a top Toyota prospect, is also in the mix. And where does it leave the drivers? The move leaves the team's four drivers in limbo for 2025 and beyond. Chase Briscoe's market value dwindles with SHR's struggles. In his last five outings, he has finished inside the top five only once, while finishing 17 or below in the rest of those races. SHR's closing leaves driver, Josh Berry, racing for his career. Berry again faces an uncertain future after replacing Kevin Harvick at SHR, Prior to 2024 season, drivers Josh Berry and Noah Gragson are in their first year with the team, while Chase Briscoe is in his fourth, and Ryan Priest is in his second. As Stuart Haas Racing embarks on its final season, fans will remember the countless races, the championships, and the indelible mark they've left on NASCAR. The legacy of Stuart Haas Racing will live on through the memories of every race, every victory, and every fan who cheered them on. We are grateful, Stuart Haas Racing, for the thrills, the chills, and the unforgettable moments on the track. The checkered flag might be waving for the last time, but your legacy will race on in the hearts of NASCAR fans forever. What do you think about the reason that played a major role in the team's decision to shut down? Is it NASCAR or other contributing factors? Drop your thoughts in the comments below. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe for more interesting stories and updates from everything NASCAR. Do share this video with your friends and keep the conversation going on. Lucky Dog on Track.